Hello and welcome internet. My name is Soaring, aka Fina here, with some content trovely for you all. As you can see, I'm almost nearly 16k power and I contribute most of that to all the gems I found and leveled to 25. They're all done. Finally, used up like seven ninth lives to get that to this point. It's awesome. Been doing some great things in this game and almost nearly 300 mastery. I will catch that on camera for you all when I get there. Now, what I have been doing, and I've been sticking around the club world most of the time I've been playing, is that I've wanted to collect a thousand of each of these caches. I just really haven't had the um, motivation to do that. But what I have had the motivation to do <laughs> is, and you're going to love it, uh, I'll give you a hint. It required uh, a lot of glowing white blocks. So, yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> let's show you the builds, see what's been going on. So here is my build, and so far it's coming along. I have so many more layers to complete. It's just, this is just a nightmare. It's so big. Or it's so tall, rather. I mean, it's as big as this platform. Which is... We'll get over there in a moment. It is... Um... 128 times the square root of 2 plus 2 times 11.5 blocks long. Which is 204. I was bored. Anyhow! <laughs> I have some portals here, which might be an indicator of what what's going on in my club world and why I needed the, all those glowing white blocks for. So let's pop in here. Oh god. Data currently saving. So we're popping in here. So, test arena go. Manually start this battle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I have made a battle arena. And oh, is it glorious. It is blindingly white, and I intended it that way. It's just so clean. Go over here, grab some power ups. Uh, I, I, in, I deliberately blocked as many lines of sight as possible so that any players can hide behind any obstruction they wish uh, to come out and be like, surprise attack, boom, stabs, right? <laughs> this is made for me and the Fae and people with so much skill. This is a skill map. Um, here you have the Flag of Strife. There's actually two, two spawns for the Flag of Strife, one on either side, so it's a little... it's fair. Uh, I have a black line running through here to separate the two sides, and it's red and blue. So anywhere you are, you can pretty much determine which side of the field you're on. I'm intended to put arrows over top, but it looks like crap. There's no way I can make them look small and com compact. And I'll, I'll show you why that is in a moment, but basically we go here to the enemy base, to the flag, and there's a lot of straight corridors to get to those locations. So here I grab the flag, go ahead and drop it. I have made all of these places jumpable, so you can get up to anywhere with just the two basic jumps. But you see that the skybox obscures your view a lot. So you have a very restricted movement to where you can actually reach. And this is all intentional because it's meant to be a skill-based map, very highly designed. A lot of a lot of prep work went into designing this. I mean, pretty much three or four lunch breaks <laughs> at work uh, went into designing this map. So it's very clear, it's concise, it's even, 
I've checked every block to make sure that every one of them is placed correctly. It is perfectly mirrored, symmetrical. This is this is a map for competitive play, not gonna lie. There are straight quarter corridors to help you get to places. And we're gonna take a look at this from the sky. So we're gonna hit hop back to the club world. So you can see what it looks like above. And obviously, because this this platform has to be over the PvP arena for these to work. So it's far below. <laughs> because I'm at 169. The arena is actually sitting on um, bedrock. So you see from here, you can see the whole PvP arena. Let me go ahead and make myself transparent. See the whole PvP arena and how symmetrical that really is. You have a middle lane, a right lane, and a left lane. And these lanes are made so that they're symmetrical. And each lane is the same width. It's actually a diagonal line that's the same width as the middle lane. So that's cool. So when we get down here, you can see that it's pretty difficult to see almost everything. There's no skybox here, so it's not blurred like it is in PvP. But the bloom from all these blocks, it makes it really difficult to see. Which is good, because in PvP, the only thing that you'll be able to see are the red line markers and blue line markers. You'll be able to see the flags and the power-ups, and you'll be able to see other players. So there's no excuse. If you can't, uh, if you can't see them, I don't know what to tell you. They're all perfectly visible in the background. But whenever a player comes by, you can easily do this and obstruct your view of them from almost any angle on this field. And that's all intentional. I have placed all the pillars to block corridors in this map. All of them. So as you're heading towards a base, everything is pretty open and visible in diagonal lines. But if you're heading uh, towards the enemy base, it's pretty obstructed intentionally. Now there is one caveat here and that there is a kind of a, a box that you can shoot from here that allows you to protect the flag as well as um, pot shot from the middle outward kind of drop that power up block because it has zero hardness um, so you can pot shot out of the window you can jump from pillar to pillar and all of the pillars I do believe are two jumps away so if you're skilled enough you can actually get to them but it takes a little bit of effort. <laughs> the black line separates the flag of strife so that two uh, opposing teams can uh, go bef behind these areas and start strategically operating this area, picking up power-ups as they go in order to make forward progress. With a team of five, you can expect some kind of lack of forward progress restricting the game to very low scores and again that was intentional i wanted to keep players from making forward progress as much as possible now some exploits to this map a player who uses the jump boost could potentially jump clear over the obstacles and that is well and good but because after seven jumps, the power up dissipates, they will be forced to do two, two long jumps and then shoot at a, at a strange downward angle towards their opponent, which isn't exactly clear a lot of the time. Very difficult. Two, getting to the flag is well and easy, but I've made it so effective for the enemy team to deny your access. There's one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9 power-ups, 10 power-ups, 11 power-ups, an immediate vicinity of the arena center. So you have are just surrounded by power-ups on all sides. So if somebody needs to defend this, you better be very good at it. A, per, a, a person in here, possibly a pirate captain or a chloromancer or revenant even, could uh, just spam from this location out outward. It is definitely within throwing distance. That was intentional. And a revenant could just suck you into the small ass room <laughs> and wreck your day. Uh, uh, to which uh, I'm I'm a fae. I couldn't even jump out of here. So uh, that would be a death sentence. So this is a very easy spot to defend uh, pretty much from all sides. Now, another strategy that players have is because there are no walls on the sides of this arena, uh, you can just be punted out of the arena side and into the void. That's very possible. Uh, I think Sylveon plushie for that suggestion. Uh, you could ride the outside of this arena, to which there are power-ups to assist you on along the way. But it is like a fifth lane, and then it's the longest travel distance to the enemy side. Although, it is relatively open. So, getting inside and harassing the enemy team from this poses a hazard uh, for both sides in that this openness allows a player to gank, per se. <laughs> so, that's also an option. Thirdly, there are uh, these middle pylons, uh, foxholes, that will allow you to pot shot through them, and it's a last line of defense through the middle area of this field. These walls here allow you to, again, gank in a game that really doesn't uh, facilitate that kind of ganking, you know what I mean? So you can... So much surprise, so much ability to, to flank an enemy from two sides, it's all thought of here, a lot of design work went in. And this is purest PvP. This is the purest possible PvP map I've could have I could have made. There's a lot of strategy here. There's a lot of it's fun. It, it really is. I played with only one other person, and that would be Sylveon Plushie. And it was stressful. With only two people, it was stressful. Because whenever your enemy is behind a wall, your your views are obstructed from every angle because all the pillars are lined up in such a way that you can only see a certain distance. So if somebody comes, you don't know which one of these pillars they're going to be coming out of. And you have to make an assumption. Do I go this way or this way? Are they behind this wall or this one? And you'll go this way and you'll be wrong. They'll be over here. It's so stressful. And that's only a one one on one fighting match and for uh, two good PvPers in an in, a, in an enclosed space like that, it took it took two minutes for us to resolve that conflict. We were just sitting there taking pot shots at each other before one of us died. It was, again, a really stressful situation. Which in PvP especially in, in a non-competitive non environment, is perfect. I love this map. A lot of work went into it, a lot of thought went into it, and there's there's nothing else I can say. <laughs> I mean, really, it's it's a nice map. So if you want to come play this map, you are free to go to go to World Cute Cube Club, take the red portal, find the PvP portals, and run at it. You are welcome to join me in my club. You can come over 
ask if I, while I'm online for an invite to the club. I have no problem with that. Uh, we are always looking for people. In fact, I think we only have 37 members. So there's that. I will see you later, guys. Oh, also, uh, this is what my slash pose looks like. Really pretty. I like that. All right. See you guys later.